It's time to review Yon Rug and Talos. It's the Kree versus the Skrull. Let's do this. My name's Captain Marvel. I'm here to help you guys. Uh, we already have a captain, and his name is Rogers. So, I'm gonna call you Miss Marvel. Is Miss Marvel okay? Hey guys, me, host Super Soul. Thank you very much for tuning in. What I got? It's Yon Rog and Talos. Now, this should be an interesting review. You guys recommended doing these two together because we have Talos from the Scroll Empire, and we have Yon Rog, the leader of the Star Force team and a member of the Kree Supreme Army. So, let's break these two out of the packaging. So these are from the new Captain Marvel, Kree Sentry Buff Wave, brand new, and I got these from Inderman Toys. Big thanks to them for getting these over so quickly. So guys, Marvel Legends series, Yon Rog, Leader of the Star Force team, Yon Rog is a, is a hero among the Kree and a key asset to the supreme intelligence in the war against the Skrulls. Talos, perhaps the most cunning spy in all of the Skrull Empire, is a master of shapeshifting and intergalactic espionage, an integral leader in the bitter Kree Skrull War. This fearsome Talos will do whatever it takes to protect his own. Interesting. Now it's interesting as well because we know that the um, the Skrull are already on planet Earth. I know more about the Skrull than the Kree. <laughs> uh, but the Skrull, they're already on Earth in this movie because Captain Marvel, um, she's already like looking for them on Earth and she smacks that old woman who ends up being a, um, a Skrull. And um, yeah, there's a little bit of info about this. I'm wondering who else in the Marvel Cinematic Universe might be a sleeper agent. And may we see the full-on like invasion storyline told out. Not in the Captain Marvel movie, but maybe in the MCU going forward. That would be cool. Um, in regards to Yon Rog, this is going to be a character that's going to be played by Jude Law. And a lot of people seem to think, well, the thought that Jude Law was going to be Marvel, but I don't think it is. I think he is playing Yon Rog. And doing a little bit of research, during the Mission to Earth storyline, Yon Rog was sent on a mission to the backwater planet called Earth by the Supreme Intelligence. They were sent to investigate how primitive natives had taken down a Kree sentry. When they arrive on Earth, Yon Rog uh, sent Marvel on the lone mission to the planet with hopes that he would die whilst on the primitive planet. I've got a feeling going to Earth and Ma he sends Marvel and somehow Marvel and Carol Danvers get get like to get like they get tied up some they get like tangled somehow. You know what I mean? Like is that how she gets her powers? Is that how she gets some of the Kree powers? I don't know. But yeah, I'm, not, I'm like I said, I'm not really massive on the storylines of Captain Marvel. Uh, but Yon, Yon Rog's annoyance with Marvel only grew his hatred for him, actively tried to kill him on their mission to Earth. Also, he was deeply jealous of the relationship Marvel has with, with Una. Now, we do know that Medic Una, I think, is in the movie. So, I think Marvel's going to be somewhere in this movie, but I don't think he is Marvel. I think he is this character of Yon Rog. Um, but we might still see a Marvel in this movie. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments. But for now, let's break them out of the packaging and let's take a look at the figures. Because don't forget, Ronin the Accuser is uh, a Kree. So we may we may see him in this movie, and that would be sick. Which means we might see a um, Thanos in this movie and his children before Infinity War, like in the 90s, when he was still like planning this whole thing. That would also be sick as hell to see. I'm trying to think why they're releasing this film pre, pre Infinity War, well, well, Endgame. So I can only think there's going to be something that's going. To, I know Carol Danvers is going to be in Avengers Four, and she's going to be a key part. But I've got, I've got. There's something else there. There's another piece of storyline that we're missing that we need to know about. And I've got a feeling we might have a bit of Thanos in there. And everyone's, everyone keeps saying to me like, like oh, you need to. We need to check out like the, the casting list and things like that. It's like they do keep a lot of things secret. If they were going to have these kind of characters in that film, they wouldn't be listed. Not yet, anyway. Yeah, that would be interesting. I wonder what the post-credit scene is going to be as well in this film. Obviously, Marvel movies post-credit scenes. Now, when Captain Marvel comes out, I'm actually going to be in Florida, in Orlando. So I'll be seeing the movie in Orlando, Florida. 
uh, seen it at the AMC Theatre at Disney Springs. So if anyone's in the area that is a follower of mine and would like to watch the film with me, please let me know. Didn't he have a holster for that gun? I thought he had a holster for that gun. Hmm, no. He doesn't have a holster for his pistol, that's really annoying. All right, so let's take a look. We'll have a look at Talos first of all. So here is Talos out of the packaging, looking awesome. Loving that face. Obviously that's a, uh, um, a, a, a scroll face and I'm tempted to use it on other characters like Cap like uh, Captain um, America and stuff like that and make it look like he's a sleeper agent for the scroll. That would be sick. That arm's a little bit loose. One arm's a little bit looser than the other. Uh, but let's take a look articulation wise. So his head is on a ball joint, so you can make him look down and you can make him look all the way up, which is nice. Head's on a ball joint, so you can rotate it around as well. Arms do lift up and do rotate at the top hinge. There's also a break there at the bicep and a double hinged arm, uh, elbow, but I'm a bit, a bit dubious with that one. Oh my God, that feels very like it's gonna snap. Oh, that arm's very loose already. And the hand is on a ball joint. Oh God, I don't like that arm. It looks like it's gonna snap off any second. Ooh, the other arm feels loose now. Oh my God, this is gonna be a loose figure. Um. Oh, so there is a little break there, so we can undo this robe, which is nice. So what does it look like underneath? Underneath it's just a basic uh, black torso. There's nothing else really going on under there. So there's no reason to take this off. Just thought I'd have a quick gander. But he has got a ab crunch um, under there. That you can't really access with the... Oh, there we go. With the clothing on, really. It hinders it. So I've activated it now. Cool. Let's put that, let's put his coat back together. Easier said than done. Urgh. One, two, okay. And that's the best I can do for now. There we go. Um, so the legs do lift out as much as this will allow, as well as forwards and backwards, with a double hinged knee here as well, and a thigh break. There's no boot cut, but the feet are on a rocker and pivot. So yeah, um, nice nice articulation on Talos. He is hindered by his jacket, but the jacket is removable. But I don't know why you would ever remove it because his arms do match it. So, but it's nice that you, the fact that you have the ability to take it off if you wanted to. Not digging these elbow joints; they feel very flimsy and very loose, like they're going to break at any given second. So I'm a bit dubious about using him to his full potential there with that articulation. Both hands are flat with no alternate hands as well, which has been annoying. So there's no fists. So is is this guy not of a um, does he not fight? I don't know. But both hands are open. So unless he's gonna slap some fools down, <laughs> there's no way of punching. Hmm, interesting. But let's go and take a look at Yon Rog. Let me try and stand up Talos here. Standing is a little bit fun with this figure. He doesn't like standing. There we go. Okay. Again, oh this figure's very loose as well, oh my god. His hands and his feet just look out of proportion with the body. Oh my god, he's like got moon boots on, what's going on? And these, <laughs> they just look out of place. Right, Yon Rog. <laughs> Head on a ball joint, so you can look all the way down. And, oh, that's as far as up as he can go. Arms do lift up at the top hinge with a rotation there and a rotation at the bicep with a double hinged elbow, which can be accessed a little bit, but not really. It's hindered by the big ass chunky armor pieces and hands are on a ball joint one hand is a clenched fist while the other is the pistol hand there is an ab crunch there so you can crunch him forwards and backwards as well as waist swivel the the um the belt does move and rotate around a little bit so it doesn't hinder any form of articulation very loose figure for me on this one legs do lift out as well as forwards backwards with a double hinged knee um a top thigh cut there as well and a boot cut on this one with a rocket and ankle pivot so articulation's good on this one aesthetically it looks nice but i'm not sure i'm not convinced yet and as well he does come with a pistol as well which is a nice grey pistol um, no real uh, silver wash or anything on there to make it look more metallic it is just a plain basic grey um, it, it does slide his hand quite nicely it 
feels like. So, so yeah, nice pistol. But if we take the pistol out of his hand, and if we have a little bit of fun, we can pop off the head on this one. and put Carol Danvers' head on. <laughs> there, makeshift exclusive. <laughs> no, there is an actual exclusive of, the, of her in the green costume coming out with the more feminine body, in case you don't want a really mannish looking figure. <laughs> Sorry, had to be done. Awesome, so yeah, Yon Rog. Mm, nice, a bit underwhelming for me, this figure. Scroll is nice, I like the scroll. But uh, Talos, I like Talos, um, he's pretty cool. But mm, Yonrog, I'm still thinking of getting rid, as much as you guys tell me to wait for the film. It's only Jude Law at the end of the day. <laughs> I don't know, what do you guys think? Let me know in the comments. I'm tempted to sell this one onto another collector that's gonna appreciate it more than me. I don't really have a galactic display, to be honest. I don't know. We might keep him. What do you guys think? Should I keep it? Let me know in the comments. Right, let's go to the desk cam, though, and give you guys an up-close personal look at these figures, and you guys can decide for yourself which one you prefer. In this storyline, it's the Skrull versus the Kree. So let's go to the desk cam! Alright, guys, here they are, out of the packaging, looking awesome. So here is Yon Rog, and here is our friend Talos from the Scroll Emperor. Let's move him over here for now, and let's take a closer look at Yon Rog. So Yon Rog, first of all, the armor pieces are very nice. I'm liking the color pattern with the sort of uh, marbling effect that's going on with that color pattern as well. Makes it look really metallic, shiny, and nice. Um, really like it. It's got a very nice design aesthetic to it. Right down to the boots and things. It's just it's just very pleasing. I'm just these gauntlet pieces with the big boots just make him feel a little bit clumpy and a little bit out of proportion for me. That's the only issue I have with the figure though, other than the fact that it's very loose, but that could just be my particular figure itself. Um I'm like the fact that he's got his pistol and you can kind of pose him up with that pistol with that double hinge elbow. Although I do feel that the double hinge elbows on both of these figures are very flimsy by comparison to some of the other figures we've had recently. And with him being a little bit floppier, it's harder to get him to stand straight without him lunging forward. He seems to always want to that ab crunch seems to always want to fall forward a little bit, which is annoying. But again, that's not probably a QCR issue on all the figures, it's probably just one on mine. But there's lots of articulated points, so you can get some nice poses out of this toy and really pose him up on your collection display. But yeah, nice figure in all. Um, I'm just not sure if this is one for my display or not. I haven't decided yet. But the figure itself is pretty decent. Moving him out of the way, though, we take a look at Talos. Talos, um, a spy for the uh, Skrull Empire. Rrr. Does he activate all the sleeper agents in in uh, the in the in Earth? <coughs> <coughs> Coughing fit. Apologies. Uh, yeah. Does he activate all the um, all the scroll on the uh, planet? Who knows? Is he coming for the kitty? Possibly. Is he working for Thanos? Possibly. The possibilities are endless. But we do know we're going to see a little glimpse of that war between the scroll and the Kree. So that's going to be an interesting movie. But the figure itself is pretty nice. I'm loving that head sculpt. I really am. Uh, loving the big ears and things. Sorry, Superstar Junior is having a mad 10 minutes behind me. Those ears are very nice. I'm liking the design of the face. And if we zoom out a little bit, those hands again, they're all the very flat palm open hands. But because the hands are pretty loose, like the elbows are pretty loose, I can't really. I tried to put the cat in his hands, and it just kept falling out because it was too loose, and the hands are too widespread. So you can't really put anything in his hands, which is annoying. Um, again, the feet are pretty nice. He does stand up pretty well. It takes a little bit of teasing to get him to stand, but once he's sturdy, he's pretty sturdy. So nice figure in all, though. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments. But for comparative purposes, in this line, here they are stood with Captain Marvel, the star of the movie. 
So yeah, I, that's not a bad. Uh, he's a little bit shorter. And of course, they're all tiny by comparison to our giant bath figure for this wave. The protector. Whoa, a figure just fallen off my stand. A protector of the Kree. So yeah, nice. Yeah, we just move them out of the way for now. We can also bring in Wolverine. The Wolverine's a little bit shorter than both of them. And Scarlet Witch. I've just knocked everyone over. Is about the same height as the, uh, the, the Kree. Oh, I've knocked everything over. Everything's going to pot. He's a, she's a little bit shorter than him. A little bit shorter than him too. Oh, she's about the same height as Wolverine. Interesting. What are your thoughts on the sizing? Let me know in the comments. Also, I've got to ask you, um, on, a, on a serious level, why'd you have a cat? What if the reason that, that Iron Man is so damn smart is because secretly, he's a scroll? So guys, which is your favorite of these two figures? Let us know in the comments down below. If you enjoyed this video guys, please smash that subscribe button. Subscribing really supports us, it really helps out and it helps us to keep making awesome videos. Thank you very much for watching guys and I'll see you in the next video. May the force be with you. Bye!